गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर मैप्स ऑफ ज्योग्राफी इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर वी स्टडीड अबाउट मैप्स वट आर द मैप्स वट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ मैप्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ मैप्स वट आर द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ मैप्स एज यू कैन सी on the board there are three components of maps distance direction and symbol without these components maps cannot be drawn or the areas cannot be shown on the map you have seen the map of india map of africa europe world of your state also so different kinds of maps are there in the previous video we discussed about it right so the matter is how can it be possible to show all the areas right big parts of the world all the con continents even all the oceans even on the paper on a sheet of paper how can it be possible because the distance between these areas is very large it means how can it be possible to show these kinds of big distances on the small paper dear students it is possible only when small distance on paper represents large distances right because it is possible only due to this is small distance for example this is a map you can imagine this is a map on this map you can see here that particular this is country a this is country b this is country c and this is country d so the real distance between these countries are very large for example distance is very large between b and d there is distance of uh, 5000 km clear 5000 km but on the map these are shown here how with the help of a scale with the help of a scale so what is scale scale is the ratio right uh, scale is the ratio that shows the uh, difference between the actual distance and on the ground and the distance on the paper so this is the ratio that shows the actual distance between the countries between the uh, different places on the ground and the distance shown on the map for example for 5000 between b and d 5000 km here the distance is shown with the help of centimeters so 5000 km this, this is the distance of 5 cm 5 cm right so 1 cm is equal to 1 cm is equal to 1000 km understand so in this way this is the scale we use the scale and with the help of scale we can show the distances right on the map this distance is shown uh, with the, uh, very uh, carefully because because it should be like real distance understand it is used very carefully because the distance between the countries or between the places should not be mismatched with the real distance and the scale that is used on the map right so i hope that you are understanding the so small distance on paper represent represents large distance on paper this small distance represents the real uh, uh, distance between country b and d for example your uh, school right your school is uh, located Uh, 5 km away from your home understand if you uh, see this thing on a map then 5 km cannot be uh, shown on the map this distance is not possible right uh, to accumulated on a map but how could it be possible it will be possible only when will you use scale for 5 km 1 cm for 1 km 2 cm for 1 km in this way you can use the distance by using scale so what is scale and what is distance i hope that you are understanding now we will understand that what are the types of scales 
देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ स्केल नंबर वन लार्ज स्केल लार्ज स्केल नंबर टू स्मॉल स्केल स्मॉल स्केल सो देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ स्केल यूज ऑन द मैप्स सो द मैप्स विच आर यूज विद द लार्ज स्केल आर कोल्ड लार्ज स्केल मैप्स एंड स्मॉल स्केल मीन्स स्मॉल स्केल मैप्स सो वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू टाइप्स ऑफ स्केल्स आई एम टेलिंग यू लार्ज स्केल मैप मीन्स इट इज द एरिया लार्ज एरिया लार्ज एरिया एंड स्केल इज स्मॉल स्मॉल स्केल बहुत ऑफ द थिंग्स एंड स्मॉल एरिया लार्ज स्केल लार्ज स्केल फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू आर शोविंग टू डिफरेंट कंट्रीज और कॉन्टिनेंट ऑन अ मैप और द वर्ल्ड मैप अंडरस्टैंड सो ऑल द कंट्रीज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड आर शोन ऑन अ मैप देयर एरिया इज लार्ज बट स्केल विल बी स्मॉल सो दीज काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स विल बी बेस्ड ऑन स्मॉल स्केल फॉर एग्जाम्पल द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द रियल एरिया इज वेरी लार्ज लार्ज डिस्टेंस बिग डिस्टेंस अंडरस्टैंड बिग डिस्टेंस इफ यू आर शोविंग बिग डिस्टेंस ऑन अ पेपर देन यू विल यूज स्मॉल स्केल अंडरस्टैंड फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस काइंड ऑफ लार्ज डिस्टेंस यू विल यूज ऑन दिस पेपर क्लियर so small scale you have to use small scale for example for 500 km for 500 km you will use 5 cm on a map so this is small scale small scale map this is small scale map and if you are uh, making a map of your own town your own village the distance between your home and school is 500 meter so 500 meter here can be shown 500 meter can be shown with 5 uh, centimeter understand so this is large scale because scale is large but the real uh, distance is uh, less on the map understand so real distance is less scale is large real distance is very high very large understand and scale is small so this is the difference between small scale large scale you have to remember dear students if you are showing big distance understand you will use small scale if you are uh, showing uh, the small distances clear less distances you will use large scale clear so distance is small scale is large distance is large scale is small understand so this is the small scale and large scale now we will discuss about direction second component of maps second component of map direction what is direction so many times you have seen on the maps this kind of arrow this kind of arrow on right side top right side and it is written like this n n for north getting my point n for north it means on any type of map if you see this symbol this symbol it means n north north is means uh, up side so in this way by knowing one direction you can uh, know about other directions for example if you see any map like this so towards your head this is north direction towards your foot this is south direction right hand east direction and left hand west direction so there are four directions directions are very important for example you are using a map of city where you are uh, means uh, new and you are unfamiliar with this city so by using that map and directions on the map you can reach uh, uh, at, to the particular place wherever you want to go if you know about the directions if you have the knowledge about the directions so directions are very important <clears throat> without directions there is no use of map there is no utilization of map so directions are like this 
दीज आर नोन एज कार्डिनल डायरेक्शन कार्डिनल पॉइंट दीज आर नोन एज कार्डिनल कार्डिनल पॉइंट वॉट आर द कार्डिनल पॉइंट नॉर्थ साउथ ईस्ट वेस्ट दीज आर द कार्डिनल पॉइंट बट सम आर इंटरमीडिएट इंटरमीडिएट डायरेक्शन दीज आर द इंटरमीडिएट डायरेक्शन फॉर एग्जाम्पल द प्लेस द प्लेस बिटवीन नॉर्थ एंड ईस्ट दिस इज नॉर्थ ईस्ट गेटिंग माई पॉइंट द प्लेस बिटवीन हेयर सिचुएटेड हेयर north west this is north west the place situated here this is south west the place is here south east in this way these are are the other directions known as intermediate direction intermediate direction so in this way you can uh, easily uh, know about the directions of particular place for example if i ask here by making this direction for example this is the home of a person a this is the home of person b this is the home of person c clear this is shop this is temple temple clear this is playground playground this is garden garden so now if you want to know the direction of any place here you can easily tell for example if we point the place the house of the person b right garden is located to which direction of the house b this direction this direction is this is north this is south this is west and this is east so this direction is north east understand so garden is situated to north east right to b house of b and shop is situated to this direction means this is the north west north west this is the north this is west so between north and west north west in the same way if we know about the playground playground is situated to north direction to the north direction of uh, the house of b person b so i hope that you are understanding about directions we have discussed about distance distance on map by using scale and we have discussed about the direction directions are like this we have discussed about cardinal points and intermediate directions now we we'll discuss about symbol what is symbol symbols are very important on a map because if you are showing shop temple garden playground you cannot write on map that this is playground this is garden you cannot write you cannot make the picture of garden you cannot make the picture of playground picture of temple all kinds of these things are shown with the help of symbols by using symbols there is a international standardization of symbols right uh, means by using the agreement uh, between different countries so that is the standardization of symbols that one kind of symbols symbols are used are known as conventional symbols conventional symbols like this for railway for railway this symbol used for railway lines this symbol used sometimes this symbol is used understand so we can know about the different kinds of symbol symbols are very important as i told you that without symbols you cannot uh, uh, show the particular places or points understand on the map because you cannot make the pictures of these kinds of different things so symbols are very important by using that symbol if you uh, go somewhere uh, the particular area where you do not know the language of that particular area you cannot ask other people that where is temple but if uh, you have the map and by using the map or sketch you can easily know that where is the temple where is the railway station by uh, using the symbol if you can uh, see the symbol on the map so you can easily identify the place understand so let's discuss about the symbols